the electrical coder. What's up, guys? This is me, Jojo Joseph, here with another interesting AI project that is classroom attendance using facial recognition or face recognition system. So I have already created a folder named AI attendance and it contains all my files for execution. I have already created this facial recognition system in such a way that we don't have to manually put all the input data. We can present a group photo like this. In this photo, there are four people. This is the training data and uh, my system will automatically extract each each faces for training purposes and uh, later it um, put the testing on the test file so the on the left side it is the training file and the right side is the test file so uh, please look at the name class a.jpg and the test file is class a1.jpg so yeah let's execute the file it's loading Yeah, for the three jobs automatic student photo training data and manual student photo training training and attendance. First, let's for auto for first, let's go for automatic student photo training data creation. So, we will go for the class A.jpg where four students are there. From, uh, from the four students, the faces of each student will be grabbed and put in a folder. So, that is what is going to happen uh, in when we type one for automatic student photo training data. So, let's type one. Yeah, the class name will be the same as that of the JPG files name. So class A is actually for it will create a folder named class A. So as you can see when you scroll up. Yeah, now each each or each faces will be extracted. We have to name the faces as per the roll number or as your wish. Now we are naming it and giving a random name. The next name is it's a girl. So I'm renaming AD. Another, let's um, name it as two. And another, uh, as you as you have seen, only four people are there. Now the training data is created. When you scroll up, you can see class A. Yeah, you can see CSV file created as uh, class attendance dot CSV. Yeah, this is the file where attendance will be taken. The names were saved. For a better view, I am showing it in a table format. This is a Raspbian OS, so from the server I have to take. Yeah, you can see the four names where there are four people, and uh, these people's name, uh, these people's training uh, training photos were put in the training folder. You can say class A folder was created, and uh, some J dot P four people photos were there. Yeah, now the training and attendance testing. So again, we enter uh, where the training data are. Our training data is in class A folder. So we'll be writing class A. Since our uh, first we just test with training picture itself. That means all the four people are present. So let's uh, let's first check whether it is working. See all pe four people are there. So it should give. It should say all are present and uh, it should mark all those present and attendance in the uh, csv file so let's check whether it is working now it's going for a comparison yeah training was over testing is happening now yeah it dictated all four faces it recognized them now it is written all are present now let's check the CSV file or Excel file whether the data have been written correctly. Yeah, it is written all are present. Now let's go for the test data. Again, we'll be running. Press any key to continue. Yeah, we'll be going for training and attendance testing with the test data. Uh, test data is a class A1.jpg. So only three people are there. The fourth guy, the boy, is not there. So it should say that that boy is missing or absent. So JPG for class A one dot JPG. Yeah, camera is starting. 
as done previous. Yeah, only three people are treated and it's saying Sam are absent. Sorry for my English. And let's check whether it is recorded in the CSV file or not, whether that guy is absent or not. Yes, that guy is absent. Sam absent. Yeah, it's working. Then, uh, since this is a small data set, now let's go for a higher data sets of large number of people. So let's take uh, the other JPG file class B for it. As you can see, same as written in the our file. Name is class B dot JPG. So we'll be writing the folder name as class B. Now I will be bit forwarding it the video typing the names and we'll be playing it in fast mode yeah the naming is almost finished nine people were there yeah the ninth one is getting finished Yeah, let's now go for the training purpose. Now we'll be using directly using the testing file itself. Means the extreme left guy will be missing. Means one guy will be absent. I just simply took a one guy. We can make how many guys also absent. And based on the real life situation, it will be recording it. And the class name, it will be class B. The training data were in class B. And the JPG file is class B1. The test data is class B1 JPG. Extreme left. We can see the photo almost uh, nine people are there and just focus on the extreme left guy and the next test data he is not there the extreme left guy of the black guy so we will be testing it now and uh, the file yeah okay nice me start here yeah it detected everyone and you, have, you can see on the print screen, jaws are absent, means the guy jaws is absent. I think it might be the extreme left guy. Let's check whether it is that guy. Uh, we'll be picking up the jaws for jaws jpg file. Yeah, it detected correctly, I guess. Yeah, it is that guy who was not the extreme left, the black, somewhat black guy. Yeah, he's absent. And let's check the CSV file where it is right or not. Yeah, you can see Joss is absent and the other everyone are present. So, this is. And if you want a clear view, I will show you my Excel file directly. Yeah. Yeah, he's absent. So. So, guys, this is a whole. And guys, if you like my video, please press the like button. And guys, uh, if you have the photos of the students and um, you have the names of with you, uh, you can create a folder, name students or anything you want and uh, put the names along with the photos inside the folders. The names of the photos should be the exact name of the students and uh, save them in the JPG format in that folder. And uh, you can do the same thing which I have done automatically with the help of manually doing like this. And uh, you should input the value too. That is actually for manual photo extraction is training data set creation. I have done that automatically. It automatically, easy. that was actually easy. But if you want to do manually, you can do by like by this. Please uh, put the folder's name after you put the input value as two. Hope you guys enjoy my video. If you like my video, please press like button and subscribe to my channel. Next time, I will be coming with a much more higher project. Stay tuned. Till then, bye bye.